he Perry says, when you are working with someone, how do you t determine what the premium should be on a prospective client? I typically always, I always like to do 90-10 splits because majority of my clients are over 40. That's the only reason why. My, my, my clients are over 40, almost all of them, right? And so the older you get, the more expensive insurance becomes. So the last thing I want to be doing is raising that, in, that insurance cost. I, want to, I, I really want to keep that as low as possible. So 90-10, the premium, 10% of whatever amount of money that they're putting into their policy. The only reason why I would go more than 10% is if the person has a lot of capital or they plan on 10xing their income because they're older, right? And they know that they're gonna make more money. So they're saying, hey, I wanna lock in my premium expense now. So this could be a good strategy. The highest I would go is 25. 75, 25. This could be dangerous if you don't actually 10x, right? Because now you're, you're paying all this premium for no reason when we could have been maximizing it, right? So the only reason why I would do this is if the client themselves has a lot of capital that they have already or will be coming into, right? Like maybe you've got a nice 401k that you wanna start you know, moving over or different assets, cash assets that you're gonna be coming into, different profits, etc. Or this person is going to 10X their income and because they're older and maybe they have health issues, key, maybe that person has health issues and they're like, Denzel, I'm the healthiest I'm gonna be right now, so let's lock it in. Let's lock in a price right now. And I say, okay. And based on that, that gives me a much higher max space, right? So if I was putting in 10,000 a year into a policy, 10K, right? 9,000 goes towards cash, 1,000 goes towards the, the premium. That means I can only put in 10K a year. But if I do the same thing over here, the same 10,000, 75% goes towards cash value and then 2,500 goes towards premium. That means that day one, that person could start with 10,000, but then throughout the year, they put in another 15K for a total of $25,000. And they can lock that in for however many years we want to lock that in for because that person maybe have some health issues so they don't want to wait to 10x and then start a new policy when they get older. That's the only reason why I would, me personally, would, would raise that. Or if they just simply tell me, Denzel, um, you know, I'm young, I'm 25, I'm 30 years old, I'm about to get into some real estate investing, fixing and flipping, I'm going to come into loads of money all at once and I want to be able to store it immediately at leisure whenever I want. That could be a really cool strategy for that person and that would be the only reason so I would, I would expand that, that mech space and that capability to, to dump loads of money throughout the year at any given time. And so what they're literally saying is, hey, I want to set up a checking account that allows me to dump in as much money as I want at any given time and I can borrow money at any given time without any issues, right? So that would be another, you know, cool strategy there.